been a while since I've uh, uploaded a video to YouTube. In fact, uh, just over a month ago now. Um, and I'm still not in my workshop because I still don't have any uh, um, amplifiers or hi-fi equipment to fix or radios. So here I am and uh, I'm back to the really the video I made um, two years ago now in May uh, 2019. Um, and this video was about, the one I made then was about the, the Silvercrest action camera I bought from Lidl. Now I've had one or two um, queries, still getting queries about it, replacement batteries and various things like that. And uh, up until recently, mine was still going strong. However, um, a little while ago, uh, I must have um, been a bit negligent with it because um, the lens is now scratched. And as you can see from these pictures, um, it's a bit worse for the wear here. But as you can see from this picture, um, the lens, well, it's not even scratched. It's got digs in it, and I really don't know how that happened. Um, I don't remember dropping it, but what I do remember is once putting it in my pocket um, with a set of car keys uh, and the lens unprotected. And I think what has happened is I've been driving, the keys have been digging into this, and it's chipped the lens. Now, I've tried cleaning it with various abrasive um, uh, creams and fluids to no avail because the scratches, it's not scratches, the scratches seem to disappear a bit, but the little digs didn't. So um, my options were two, try and fix the camera or um, order a new one. And obviously since I bought um, this one um, two years ago, things have improved slightly. So um, a couple of days ago, I received a, a replacement camera from Amazon um, and uh, it's made well, this one's also made by a queso, uh, Akiso, I think it's pronounced, and uh, it's brand named um, Silvercrest by Lidl. But anyway, this one arrived. Now, the original one I paid £69 for, <coughs> excuse me, um, and uh, it has uh, the ability to, to vary the size of the image on it, and it also has um, uh, the ability to... Um, to, to change the, the resolution on it as well. Um, and uh, it costs £69. The new one I bought is more advanced, but it only costs £49. Um, it has lots more features, but it doesn't have the ability to actually alter the, the frame size of the picture. Um, but it does come with a remote control, which is very easy. It's not a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth remote control. Um, it's a wireless remote control, so you have the thing on your wrist and you can take shots and start and stop videos from this. Um, it also uh, has um, a number of other uh, interesting things on it, but it doesn't, as I say, have the, uh, the, the, the main the ability to change the, the image size on it. Now, this one only cost £49, um, as I've said, which was considerably cheaper. And uh, so I've decided to opt for this. Now, in a minute, I'm going to open it and we'll have a look at it together. It's still unopened, which is unusual for me with an Amazon parcel. However, I did say I had two options. And the first option was to buy a new one, which I've done. The second option was to try and repair this one. Now, as I've got a new one, if I mess this up, I've got nothing to lose. So the first part of this video is trying to replace the lens on this uh, silver crest. Um, and uh, so let's get on and do that. Um, and see how uh, easy it is to do it. So let's start uh, trying to replace this lens. Okay, um, to get into the thing, we first of all have to remove the front. So I need a, a splodger of some sort and, or a thin knife. So I'm going to use this to actually um, try and open it up. Sorry if my hand's masking things. The first thing you need to do, of course, is to take the battery out. Uh, always take the battery out before you work on anything, um, especially tanks. Um, so the battery's out and uh, I'm now going to take the front off this camera. Hopefully we're getting underneath. And there it is and it clicks away. You'll have to work yourself right around it um, and then the front should lift off. Okay, so that's the camera with the front removed. You now have a number of very, very small um, crosshead screws 
which also need to re re be removed. Now I'm not going to bore you now um, with taking all the screws out, so I'm going to um, maybe take one out and then we'll swap ahead um, uh, and uh, take the rest out. And I'll show you it with, with, when they're all out. So the journey so far is that um, the battery has been removed, the front uh, of the camera has been uh, unclipped, it just clips onto the, this case. Um, this part, which is the, uh, um, the, the front of the actual circuitry board, has been removed, um, taking out those four very, very small screws, and that leaves the lens. Now this is where I think I've come to the end of my repair journey unless anyone can suggest anything different because the lens itself um, I thought may unscrew but it doesn't. It has this um, earth braiding which is wrapped tightly around the lens barrel and I cannot see by looking inside any way that I can remove that lens. If it's glued, then I'm on a non-starter without breaking things. Um, and it's over the, uh, obviously over the sensor, uh, the image sensor, um, which is underneath it. Now, at the moment, I think I've come to a full stop. I'll have a bit of think about it overnight. Sometimes uh, at night time, you wake up suddenly at three o'clock in the morning and the answer is clear to you. Bit of a retake on this one because it's a few days later. Um, from my previous video which I was making uh, looking at the various options I had on fixing my um, fixing my silver crest camera with a with a scratch lens um, and you may remember me saying that my options were um, buy a new camera uh, which I did I bought the Acaso or Acaso uh, EK7000 which looked very good in the specs um, but on examination, um, when I opened it up, I realized, and I should have checked this earlier, that one, um, the uh, lens uh, angle wasn't adjustable. It was fixed at, um, at, uh, um, at 170 degrees, which what didn't suit me. And also, um, on the original camera, um, the silver crest, which the Acaso, uh, which was a cr clone of that, the actual um, battery uh, container um, was fixed to the uh, to the case. Um, on the uh, EK7000, it didn't. It was easily lost. You just took it off, and it flew away from you. Um, also, um, I had uh, an issue with the thing locking up when I was on Wi-Fi. If you press the wrong sequence of buttons or seem to press them too quickly um, the camera locked and you had to switch off and start again. So as I said at the time my options were to um, try and mend the uh, uh, um, the original silver crest uh, because the lens was damaged and um, it was pretty bad and uh, I will show you a close-up of that. Um, so what I did is ordered um, some new lenses however the lenses that came um, were a replacement for the GoPro, uh, not specifically for this or the Acaso. Um, and you may also remember from my last clip that um, I had problems removing the lens. Well, um, when I thought about it, it had to be threaded. So I was just um, a little bit more, uh, <laughs> a little bit more, um, uh, stringent shall we say and gripping the lens and then it clicked and it unscrewed there was there's some glue on the bottom of it which was keeping it in its right focal length position so uh, based on those facts I sent the a case the EK 7000 back um, and got my refund on it um, I could have looked further and, and I should have realised that when I bought the Silver Crest it cost me £75 or £79 uh, or was it £69, somewhere around there but it was much more expensive than the EK7000 which only cost £40 um, and if I would gone for the equivalent of this, the next one up which cost £74.99 uh, that okay so which is the uh, 
the Pro version, it had touchscreen on it, which by the way, the original uh, EK7000 doesn't have. It also had the ability to um, uh, to alter the angle from narrow, wide, and uh, uh, up to 170. Um, and uh, it had a touch screen, as I say. It was just a more equivalent to this one than the one I ordered. So I'm back now fixing this. Um, I've managed to take that lens out. A new lens has arrived. The only issue I have now is that the thread on the new lens is slightly finer, although the depth and everything is, is the same, uh, is slightly finer than that uh, 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 than that of the original lens. So I'm going to try and fi um, fit it. So with the lens taken out of the camera, um, as I said, it was it unscrewed eventually once I overcame the stiction of the, the glue down the bottom here. I've got my new lens ready to fit um, and uh, take the protective cap off the bottom and there's the, um, that's nice and clean, make sure it is. Uh, and then um, attempt to screw it in. All diameters are the same. Well, I think that's about it for this video. Um, if it has a moral at all, it's that you must uh, um, make sure you know what you want before you order it um, and not just jump in. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that's what I did in this instance. And that's why I had to send back my Akeso, uh, uh EK7000 because not that it wasn't a good camera, but it didn't provide everything I wanted um, because I didn't check properly. Um, I based that on my uh, original purchase of the Silver Crest camera, which is a clone of the Akeso. Um, and uh, I was quite pleased with this until obviously I scratched the lens, had to replace it. But now it's working again. It has some nice features on it. It has a tripod mount um, and it has touchscreen and uh, it has a variable um, field of view. So you can go from wide, narrow uh, or ultra wide. Um, or normal, so that's quite good. Um, but when I ordered the uh, Akeso EK7000, uh, um, I thought I was going to get all that, but I didn't. Uh, didn't read the spec, so I didn't get uh, touchscreen, and I didn't get um, variable field of view. Um, and uh, I just, and the other thing I didn't like about it on this one, the uh, battery. Uh, replacement retaining clip is secured to the camera uh, on the um, uh, Akeso 7000. Uh, once you took that off, um, it could be lost forever. So it went back. Um, however, um, I've still got my GoPro and I've still got this one now, it's fixed. Um, and on the GoPro, of course, uh, it doesn't shoot in, in, uh, in 4K, whereas this does, and so does the uh, 7000. Um, it does, one of the reasons I was attracted to it, because it did 4K, though I don't use 4K very much, which seems a bit weird. But anyway, um, it does that. Um, the the uh, GoPro Hero 3 has some nice features on it. Um, it uh, um, it has a small front screen which gives you the camera status um, and uh, it, it has a, the ability to to um, change the battery or uh, give an additional battery on the back of it or um, to add a screen on um, although the screen isn't of course um, uh, the screen isn't um, uh, a touch screen but it does give a uh, um, does give you a screen um, and you can select all your all your your menu bits um, from there so yeah a nice camera good resolution and alter the field of view and various other things um, it also comes with a, a, a mini HDMI socket so you can plug it into TV um, and uh, it comes with uh, uh, with Wi-Fi so that you can um, alter all the settings on it from your phone or from your tablet and all works very well very pleased with it still keeping it still love it um, still love my silver crest 
Um, but uh, um, <laughs> as I say, I, I went blindly in and ordered the uh, Queso uh, EK7000, which really didn't meet my needs. Nice camera. Um, the Queso range are very, it's very, very good. Um, some of the more expensive cameras have got a very good build quality and they do virtually anything you want them to do. Um, and uh, so, yeah, there we go. I may get one in the future. I may get the Queso 7000 Pro. Now that does give you everything you need on it. It does a touch screen. It does the, the, the Wi-Fi um, and it does the variable angle uh, of view on it. So that's, I'm not sure. Why do I need an action camera? You may ask. Uh, I, I, I'm not a sports fanatic. I don't cycle. I don't run. Um, um, but I do use them quite a bit for um, when I'm doing uh, videos in situations where I don't want to lug around my, my, my great big Panasonic, which draws everyone's attention to you. So one of these and a cradle, um, yeah, that's fine. Um, this one doesn't give, the Hero 3 doesn't give, uh, um, uh, um, you know, uh, contr judder control, um, stabilization rather, um, but you can do that in post-edit in the software. Um, this one does, uh, and so does the Akeso, uh, um EK7000 um, uh, Pro. So, there we go. Anyway, lesson learnt. Um, and uh, that's about all I have to say. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, my next video won't be about action cameras at all. It will be about um, a Technics. Uh, I've just received a Technics uh, cassette stereo system that someone wants to, me to look at for them. And uh, evidently there's a fault with the deck. So um, that will be fun having a look at that. That will be my next video. Um, but for this one... Um, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers again uh, and all my new subscribers. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, all those people that support my channel. Um, I love making the videos. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've done this one, but I don't like just making a video for the sake of making a video. I like to do it because there's a reason behind it and there was here. A solitary lesson learned. Don't order what you don't really want. Um, and uh, be careful with your lenses when you're using these cameras because they do protrude a lot from the housing. Thank you for watching um, and uh, I'll be back with you again soon and as always take care.